Hello and welcome. Let's take a look at our top story. In exactly a month from now, the United Kingdom will have its new Prime Minister. And the two hopefuls who are vying to replace Boris Johnson, former Chancellor Rishi Sunak and UK Foreign Secretary Liz Truss, have been clashing over a slew of issues. One major topic on which both the contenders have constantly debated is of the future of Britain's economy. In the latest TV clash, both Sunak and Truss have set out competing plans to deal with an economic recession that has been forecasted by the Bank of England. The bank has issued a warning saying that Britain faces a protracted recession due to the rising energy bills driven by Russia's invasion of Ukraine. The worsening state of the UK economy has been dominating the Tory leadership campaign, with both the candidates putting forward rival visions to deal with the fallout. While on one hand, UK Foreign Secretary Liz Truss, who has been the front runner in the leadership contest, has said that the central bank's prediction can be changed by cutting taxes. Former Chancellor Rishi Sunak has criticised Truss's economic plan and has said that Truss's unfunded tax cuts would pour fuel on the fire of inflation. Sunak has been prioritising on bringing inflation down before cutting taxes. Listen in to their contrasting viewpoints. Under the current proposals, our corporation tax would go up to the same level as France and 10 points ahead of Ireland. And I really worry about our capacity to attract that investment into our economy if we do that. Okay. You simply can't tax your way to growth. And I'm afraid the very high taxes we have at the moment, a 70-year high, are likely to lead to a recession. Okay. And that's what the Bank of England is predicting. But it all starts with not making the situation worse. Because if we just put fuel on the fire of this inflation spiral, all of us, all of you, are going to just end up with higher mortgage rates, savings and pensions that are eaten away and misery for millions. I don't want that okay. to happen. And that's why I am so focused on gripping inflation first. Meanwhile, Sunak, who has trailed trust in the recent polls, appeared to score a surprise win with their studio audience in their latest TV debate, especially after Truss was questioned on her policy U-turns. Now, the UK Foreign Secretary had earlier insisted on her public sector pay plans, which was axed 48 hours after the policy was announced. According to Truss, the proposal was misinterpreted, which compelled her to take a U-turn. Former Chancellor Rishi Sunak also faced tough questioning regarding his taste in designer loafers. Now, the moderator also mocked Sunak's insistence on his uh, humble roots. However, the final vote at the end of the debate showed a larger number of hands for Sunak than for Truss. The result of the final vote between Truss and Sunak, which will decide as to who will be the next Prime Minister of the United Kingdom, will be announced on the 5th of September. What I want to do is different. I think the government's number one priority should be... We are now available in your country. Download the app now. Get all the news on the move.